Hello everyone, welcome back to Mesmo. Today we have an interesting algebra. Algebra question, we need to simplify this. We have square root of 10 over square root of 30 and multiplying by square root of 27. How can you simplify this? Let's learn, let's remember a lot of rules right here. First one, if we have square root of a over square root of b, we can write it under one square root sign. So a over b. And it's really good case because we use this rule right here. We ask square root of 10, dividing by square root of 30. This is the first rule that we need. Remember this rule or learn this rule. So as a result, we'll have square root and in our parentheses, in our square root sign, sorry, we'll have 10 over 30 and times square root of 27. <coughs> we can easily simplify this. Let's divide nominator and denominator by 10. We will have 1 over 3. So as a result, we'll have square root 1 over 3. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's simplify this 27 a little bit. So we can write this 27 as 3 times 9, and it's really good to write this 27 as 3 times 9. And I'm going to write the next rule that is really good rule for us. I write this rule right here. This rule goes right here. This is good for us. The next rule is if we have square root of a times b under one square root sign, we can write it in reverse way. We can write this as square root of a times square root of b under every square root sign. So let's do this. Let's write this as square root of 3 times square root of 9. I write this right here. We will have square root of 1 over 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 9. Take a look. We have square root of 3 square root of 9. This is good for us. And moreover, we can write this one in a reverse way. So we can write this one as square root of 1 times square root of 3. So this rule in the reverse way. We can write this one as square root of 1 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 and times square root of 9. And take a look what we'll have. We can easily cancel it because this is in our denominator and this is our nominator. This square root of 1 will be 1, so nothing changed, and as a result we'll have square root of 9 equal to 3. So we find our answer, option A. This will be our answer. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, write a question in your comment, write a question about these rules. If you're a student, you think you should know these rules, you need to know these rules, this one and this one, this is good for us, of course. The other method is to write all of these elements inside of one square root because square root sign because we have multiplication and division. This is good for us to write in our one square root sign. But I want to suggest you, I wanted to show you these rules right here. So if you agree with this, if you disagree, write a question in a comment, write a suggestion in a comment. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.